What's good everyone, it's ZigZag here. Welcome back to another GeoGuessr video. Today, I'm gonna to be bringing you guys a region guessing tip for every single country in Europe. I don't have much time before I leave to Sweden, so I'm gonna do this one off the dome. Let's get it. My first tip is for these two peninsulas in Iceland because they look super dead. This is what I mean. They have like no vegetation going on. They're super volcanic and they just have black rocks everywhere. Very useful for getting that part of the country, although there are other roads in Iceland that can look similar. Okay, next tip is for Southern Norway. Southern Norway has a lot of these Scots pines, which are these pines that have a reddish tinge the further up the tree they go. And these ones can grow basically in the Southern half of Norway, but you see them growing really tall and in big forests of them in the very far South. So that can be a great tip for getting that Southern bulge part of Norway. So one great tip for Sweden is looking out for rock walls. I'm a rock wall lover and uh, this meta really does help out in Sweden. When you see one like the one I just showed you, it's normally along this southern coast part or on one of the islands very strong tip for that kind of area. Next up is a tip for Eastern Finland on the Russian border. I tend to find that that part of Finland has a lot more of this kind of undulating landscape and it pretty much goes up and down. And that pretty much applies to the entirety of Eastern Finland. I really like this tip if I have nothing else to go off of, then I might go further East if I see this undulation. Next one here is Russia. And if you're in Russia, you're taking a look around, you have no idea where you are, but you have tons of rocks on the side of the road. Then there are a number of places you could be but if it looks anything like the Nordic countries, then you're probably in Karelia or bordering the Baltics or bordering Finland somewhere. So yeah, this location was right here and you get a very similar look in Murmansk and Karelia. Okay, to be 100% honest, I don't really have a good region guessing tip for Estonia. So let me talk a little bit about Latvia and Lithuania, which are also very difficult countries. Okay, I don't really have a good tip for Estonia. One thing I can think of is that you get kind of more furnished looking vegetation around the Gulf of Riga. So this kind of area here, but use it at your own risk because you can probably find them near the lake over here as well. But my tip for Lithuania and Latvia is looking out for the eastern hills which you get on the Russian border. And then one particularly for Lithuania is that in the north of the country you do get less trees. Like this kind of region here, you're quite liable to be able to plonk down and see no trees in sight or just fewer. Of course now that I've plonked down there is a massive forest there but you know even out this direction you can't really see any so that's at least somewhat working. Lithuania you're not going to pick up too many points as long as you get in the right country but that can help. Oh Poland region guessing. Well, apart from the southern mountains, one tip that I came up with, which I actually do think is somewhat consistent, is this. It took me a while to find this, so who knows how real it is. It's one of my own meta, so it probably doesn't even work that well at all. But if you have these like kind of serrations that kind of go up and down the road, or if you have like little, or if you have kind of rectangular cutouts where the road's been patched, not necessarily that the road's bad quality, but just that it has like kind of patches in it or north, south, or up and down serrations like this, I think that's really good, but it probably only works like 65, 60% of the time. So, you know, use it at your own risk. That is my tip for you. Next one here is kind of pretty obvious, but uh, can work pretty well. Czechia is a country with fairly varied architecture. But if you see a building like this, or maybe particularly this one over here, which looks very Germanic, you're likely to be somewhere in, you're likely to be somewhere on the German border in the Western half of the country, I would say. Doesn't always work, but definitely can. Also, while we're at it, I'm pretty sure these zebra striped uh, houses are pretty common in Czechia as well, and not too common elsewhere. So that's a pretty cool niche tip that you could use to get Czechia one day too. One thing I've noticed in Eastern Slovakia is that you get this really, one thing I've noticed specifically about Eastern Slovakia is that you get a really poor road quality, almost reminiscent of Ukraine. And then also you get many more houses with tin roofs as well. Next tip is a great one for region guessing inside of Ukraine, but they actually have Polish style bollards in the Zakopatia Oblast. That is this one right here. I'm not sure if there's always Polish bollards or not, but I'm pretty sure most of the time you will see them. When I plonked down, the first one I saw had Polish bollards, so keep that in mind for far western Ukraine. This one's a little bit more advanced, but if you have been playing Geogasa for quite a while, you will be able to recognize this. This is the short antenna in northeastern Romania, and you can see it's a bit fat at the top just ever so slightly, but you can notice that difference, and that would put you only in the northeast of Romania if you are in Romania. So that's right up here on the border with Moldova and Ukraine. Okay, one of the best metas for separating the region in Bulgaria is the winter coverage antenna with the flag on it. The flag is 90% found in the east of the country, so if you're in Bulgaria, you can confirm it and you see the flag, then hedge your guess more so towards the east. One tip for the European part of Turkey is that they often make their roads out of these tiles. I'm pretty sure this is the case. I mean, the first one I plonked down on had this and it reminded me of it. 
But in any case, you should always see tiled roofs in this part of the country. And even though we do have a few water tanks on the roofs here, they're less common in this part of the country as well. One thing I've noticed about Greece is that on Patras and the whole Patras Peninsula, you have a lot of these olive groves and the vegetation is quite dense, covering most of the hills a lot of the time. You can just see here that the whole hill is basically green and I find that a really good and I find that pretty useful to region guess the hand. When it comes to region guessing North Macedonia I like to rate it on a scale of how much does it look like Albania to not looking like Albania. When it's very green like this and there's a bit of redness in the hills I really like to guess near Albania and it tends to work quite well. So that would be this road here specifically. Region guessing Albania can be tough for me, but you have these really long straight ridges a lot of times in the south of the country, and they often run southeasterly, these ridges. So if you can line up your compass north, and you can be like, okay, well, if that's north, then the compass would say, then logically that hill behind us is kind of running along the screen like this. So that would be a southeasterly mountain range and you can use that to get this out of the country. Okay, I picked a good example for what Sicily looks like here. So Sicily often has this rockish wall, not quite as common as Sardinia maybe, but Sicily tends to either be really green or really dry, depending on that Mediterranean climate, winter versus summer, um, winter versus summer seasonal difference. But uh, it often has this landscape where it's, but it often has this rolling landscape with a lot of peaks in it as well. And then if you move seasons, you see that it becomes completely dry, but it's covered in farmland. It's very beautiful and it's often like kind of this undulating, but more than undulating, also with mountains as well. I don't know, I find it quite distinctive. Once you've seen it enough times, it often, it often becomes quite gettable. And then also the south of the boot looks like this as well. So keep that in mind. But these, this area here is pretty gettable in my opinion. Then of course a bonus one for Italy is remembering that, then of course a bonus one for Italy is remembering that the Po Valley here is flat as a pancake. So when you're getting towards the Alps, you might expect it to be more hilly as a new player, but yeah, this place is completely flat. Okay, my Serbia tip is quite simple. Just remember the north is super flat and the south is super hilly. You'll never have a round in the south where you don't see a hill basically, and in the north, seeing hills is somewhat rare, and especially as you get up here, there are no hills. Okay, Hungary is another tough region guessing country. Probably the most useful thing is again the northern hills that you get near Slovakia. Also, I think the east of the country is significantly poorer, so if you see something that looks really quite run down, you could try to go east. Again, it, it, it only works sometimes, so probably best to go in the middle if you don't know. Croatia only takes a little bit of practice to region guess. The south of the country has just tons of rock walls, the north of the country is a bit of a combination where you get this kind of more Slovenian landscape on the border there. And then all of a sudden, once you get to, and then all of a sudden, once you're in the east and you're looking at old Austro-Hungary, you get these very Austrian, you get these very Serbian looking buildings all around the place. This is just looking like a typical Serbian village with the ditches, even the red. Even the blue and white paint here is super Serbian. I don't know, this just looks like a typical Serbian town. So once you have a vibe for Northern Serbia and you think you're actually gonna be in Croatia, then because you see, because for example, you see the antenna, then this makes this region quite easy. Slovenia region guessing can be quite difficult, but probably the most useful thing is to remember that this part of the country is flat. Whereas pretty much everywhere else you're gonna see hills. Then you also get lighter sand and kind of more of a Mediterranean vibe as you head towards Copa, because of course that is the only place that's on the Mediterranean, so it kind of makes sense. Okay, I'd skip Montenegro, but Montenegro has this really distinctive region down here, which is really flat and kind of cool looking. Um, You can always see the mountains north, of course, there's a big ridge here that, that kind of divides this region. But yeah, this, this area in Albania and Montenegro, to be honest, has this really just flat landscape here, which you wouldn't really expect. And so it can be really useful for getting that region. Far Western Austria definitely has this distinctive look where the mountains are super prominent. If I see mountains like this, where they're just super tall, but also they're kind of just standing wider apart from each other, then I'm definitely thinking more Western than Eastern. So this whole kind of region here, we can see the mountains are bigger right on the Italian border. But if I click over in these mountains, which are also quite tall, you can see they're very close together. It just looks a bit different, I think. Maybe even this one's not the best example because this mountain's super big still. But say I push even further East here and guess and see inside the mountains, 
then you're just gonna see like you don't really see any like standing out mountain obviously this is a forest but uh but the vibe is definitely different and ultimately with that one you're just gonna have to do what you can okay if you see a super red road in germany then they're normally gonna be northwest of leipzig in this region here it took me two clicks to find a really red one here i mean definitely the soil is influencing this one and use with your own risk because there are some redder roads in the south of germany as well okay didn't take me long to find one that was nice and red look at this one definitely compared to normal asphalt over here very red indeed now keep an eye out for the ones in south germany which are kind of brownish red but this one is definitely unique to this area which i just showed you guys netherlands is a tricky region guess but i think this north part of netherlands often has fewer trees and i say that we're clicked in a forest again but it's a very open landscape you can often see very far into the distance and it is obviously flat as a pancake as well so netherlands is another country that's pretty tough to region guess but actually let's talk about these islands out here because these ones can be pretty distinctive so you will actually so actually on the embankments you will actually get some kind of bigger hills here this round would be very difficult to go, get the right country on, but suppose you actually did know it was Netherlands, then guessing on an island would make a lot of sense here because they got their stacked up sand, so definitely something to keep in mind. Okay, Belgium. Quite simply remember that the hills are going to be south, and then also as you get towards Luxembourg, I get the feeling that there are quite a few less um, brick houses. Like, let's see what the first houses we have here are down near the Luxembourgish border. So, I mean, yeah, we don't have any brick here, Looks like this one is going to be brick, but yeah, it's kind of mixed in with far fewer brick houses. For example, this one, for example, this one looking much more German and this one being made of slate. I mean, that is actually a dark brick, but there's definitely a different style. You can see much more of the houses that are kind of pastelish colors looking more German mixed in with the typical Belgian brick architecture. Luxembourg tends to be hillier in the north. That is the best region guessing tip I can give you. Okay, well, of course, my favorite region guessing tip is the Dijon Red Roads. They tend to be in this kind of circle here, and uh, watch how quickly I can find one. So let's try here. I would say any road like this should probably be red. There's a high probability. And there you go. This is a reddish road. You can see um, it works astoundingly well. There are red roads in other parts of the country, but this should be working quite nicely for you. Uh, we're on the topic. Why don't we talk about Spanish Red Roads? Now keep in mind that in Spain, pretty much all the roads or many of them have a brown tint. So don't worry about a brown tint. That doesn't really help you get the region. But down here in Extremadura on the Portuguese border, you can see roads down here often having a very reddish tint to them as well as the brown. And uh, yeah, this was first click again, pretty lucky, but most roads down here do have that. And then a great tip on top of that, which I wasn't gonna mention, but is actually right here, is the Extremadura bollard with the green tip on it. And this one is only found in the province of Extremadura. Very, very useful one. One cool tip for the south of Portugal that's quite effective is the fancy chimney meta. If you have like a chimney shaped like a turret, and you can see there's a bunch of these here, and this again was my first click, then uh, that can be a really good tip for guessing in the south of Portugal, or at least the southern half, but yeah, particularly the south coast has the really cool ones. So yeah, keep an eye out for those really cool chimneys. Uh, Malta, I'm gonna skip. Just remember, if it feels like it's really urban, clicking here is probably the best idea because that's where the majority of the coverage is and Valletta and the surrounding towns are easily the biggest towns. San Marino should be hilly in the west, but yeah, you can pretty much always see the San Marino hill. So at 10 kilometers across, I don't really think you need to know too much about that. Switzerland can be difficult to region guess, but uh, this southern part near Locarno has a really distinct architecture, which looks much more like Italy. These pink houses, you got these pink and red houses, which look really Italian. And uh, yeah, even more pink houses. Yeah, yeah. It just looks kind of like Italy mixed with Germany, mixed with Austria. And at that point, you pretty much know you're in that southern part. And then also you get a lot of palm trees, which would be kind of weird for elsewhere in Switzerland. Indeed, these should be pretty much exclusive to the south part of Switzerland as well. Okay, who did I miss here? We got UK and Ireland to go, I think. And uh, my first tip, and I know I've done a lot of topographical tips, but that it really is one of the best ways to region guess. So out between Colchester and Hull, you get this really flat part that almost looks a bit like Netherlands or Denmark. If I just plonk down here, I can guarantee you that there's not going to be a hill in sight, which can be really, really useful indeed. So let's just check out here. Well, we've got hedgerows everywhere. Okay, I finally plonked one without any hedgerows that are too large. And uh, yeah, you can see it is very flat here. Slight, slight bumps, which remind you more of Denmark than of Netherlands probably. But yeah, it's, it's very, it's very distinctive. And then Ireland, well, I think the rock walls are really common around Galway. So that's a really great tip for region guessing 
Ireland. Yeah, look at this. We got a rock wall the very first click we did. Pretty common around there. And okay, I forgot Monaco and Andorra. Well, Monaco is literally pointless. And Andorra, well, I guess my tip would be to not guess here because there's no coverage. Uh, so yeah, that's about all I have to say for that. Okay, thus concludes my video giving you region guessing tips for all of Europe. Hopefully next time I do a tip video like this, we'll have Bosnia coverage so I can talk a bit about that. But in the meantime, guys, thank you so much for watching the video all the way to the end. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.